So after using both OneNote and GoodNotes for taking my notes during this past school semester, I want to share with you guys which note taker I think would be better for students going into the next semester of school. We're going to talk about their organization, how they edit their drawing capabilities, and finally how they share notes between the two different apps. And as always, timestamps are going to be in the description of the video. And if you like this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe if you change your mind. Okay, so starting off with organization, we're going to begin with OneNote and the way that OneNote is organized is that they have this folder hierarchy system and basically what I mean by this is that you begin in a notebook and then you go into whatever subject that you have over here and then in those subjects you have your sections which if we're comparing this exactly to paper this would be the same thing as your dividers and then from there it goes onto your notes itself where the pages are actually infinity pages meaning that the pages just continue on and on and they can go on forever and then the next key element which is the search feature which basically just allows you to search throughout all of your notes to see very specifically what you want to find within your notes. Anything that you put in the search bar, it'll just go through all of your different notes and find any instance where you typed or had that note present. And really the main point of OneNote's entire organization system is really based on this clear, simple and minimal design with very, very little friction to begin getting started. As you open this app, you just know exactly where everything is and it's very easy to get started. And because it's so simple, Similar to regular paper, it's really easy to get used to the way that OneNote itself is organized. Hey guys, so I'm currently editing this video right now and I just realized that basically all of the audio is messed up. Um, you'll notice that when I'm talking, the audio doesn't exactly line up and I don't know what happened. It must have been an issue with the settings, but regardless, I tried to make up for it with, you know, a lot of effects, a lot of B-roll, and yeah, hopefully it doesn't ruin the video. Clown me in the comments if you want, but yeah, hopefully this doesn't happen in the future, and I just wanted to let you guys know before you guys continue watching forward. However, when it comes to which organization system is better between the two apps, I have to give it to GoodNotes just because of how many more features you get with it. The organization of GoodNotes is an infinite folder hierarchy system, and what I mean by that is is similar to GoodNotes, you start off in like a main central folder and then in that you have notebooks and then in that you have your separated pages. And the thing that makes this better than OneNote is that you can get really specific with how deep you want your folders to go. One of the main issues that I have with OneNote is that, you know, once you have your notebook and then your section and then your page, that's really it. That's like the end of the line. However, with GoodNotes, you can have infinite folders. Like you could have as many folders as you want before you get to, you know, whichever notebook you want to be taking your notes in. Having it organized this way means that you can just organize your notes as specific as you want, which is definitely an upside for students that have a lot of notes that they have to take. And also something that's pretty nice is that the notebooks themselves are customizable the same way that you would have a customizable paper notebook. You know, you can change the cover, you can change the actual paper that you're writing on, which makes it really convenient for, again, taking notes the same way that you would take it on paper and makes that transition way easier. Also, personally, I find that the search feature is just just way more specific on good notes it really nails down where in your notes uh, the word that you're looking for is and it is all around just more straightforward than the search feature that is in OneNote. Not to mention that GoodNotes also has a very clean design and very easy access to the most important features. So overall the better organization goes to GoodNotes. Next up is the editing which is a really crucial part when taking your notes and making them personal to yourself and beginning in OneNote's you know, you get the bare essentials, you get the standard things that you'd expect, like, you know, inserting tables, changing font, making things bold, things like that, or just really the bare minimum and the standard essentials that you would expect. But to give credit, these simplistic controls aren't at all overwhelming, and that again makes it really easy to get started in OneNote. However, that does mean that you're trading off a lot of useful features that GoodNotes has, which I'll be talking about in a little bit. And there's a lot of variety when it comes to OneNote, but what you'll notice is that instead of having all these grand features, you're gonna have a lot of different things, but really the bare essentials of those different things. And with GoodNotes, the editing that you can make on your notes is actually pretty similar to OneNote. You again have the standard essentials for editing Word documents like font, page layout, etc. But you also have simplistic controls that are very easy to change. And the great thing about this app being designed for touchscreen means that interacting with it just feels a lot more natural than OneNote. Also in GoodNotes, you have a bunch of things that you can insert into your notes, such as photos from your own camera, documents, and entire worksheets. So while the difference may not be that different between 
between OneNote and GoodNotes. Again, I'm gonna have to give the editing to GoodNotes just because of how much more simplistic, even if it's just by a little bit, compared to OneNote. But really when it comes down to it, it's really just personal preference. Maybe you're used to a computer and you find that OneNote has better editing features than GoodNotes. Let me know in the comments which app you think edits notes better, OneNote or GoodNotes. Next up is the drawing features. And I'm gonna be honest, this is where GoodNotes definitely pulls ahead. But beginning with Microsoft's OneNote, you can see that the draw features is, you know, pretty basic. You have the things that you would expect, like, you know, eraser, marker, pen, highlighter, different colors, different sizes, and most importantly, the ability to combine written notes with your already typed notes. But as you can see, this is pretty much it when it comes to the drawing features that OneNote has. It is definitely pretty basic, especially when compared to GoodNotes. Now, when it comes to GoodNotes, you do also have the ability to combine text notes with written notes with definitely a lot more emphasis on the written versus the text as you'd expect. Now the key difference here is something that I actually mentioned earlier, which is the ability to actually customize the paper type. And weirdly enough, changing the type of paper that you're using, whether that be lined paper or the grid type paper, just having that customization really makes the notes feel like your own. And not only does it feel like your own, but again, it makes that transition from going to paper to moving onto something more digital based way easier because it is so notebook-like. And when compared to OneNote's draw features, GoodNotes just really has has what seems like limitless tools. You have your highlighter, your pens, you have way more colors, more settings per tool. Not to mention with GoodNotes, it is really seamless and easy to make shapes and other formatting options that can be created. And really, it just seems limitless in comparison to OneNote. And while it would be nice to see OneNote catch up in terms of this, you know, handwritten note system, GoodNotes 5 was built from the ground up to be written on with some sort of stylus, like an Apple Pencil or a Logitech crayon. Something that is evident with the way that you take notes in that app. And for that reason, the draw feature just has to go to GoodNotes. But finally, when it comes to sharing on both of these apps, meaning sending off notes or accessing these notes, OneNote definitely takes the lead here. And the biggest feature with that is just simply the access to the internet that you have with OneNote. As you can see here, I have the OneNote app open on the left side and OneNote Online open on the right side. And what you'll notice is that you have essentially the same editing tools, making it very convenient to make different edits to your notes, just as if you had the app with you. Not to mention all the easy access that you have to all of your different notebooks, and especially, you know, if you need to print out a note really quickly, you can do that really easily from even the online version of OneNote. And there's definitely a lot of times in class where you need to reference your notes, you need to print out material, and you just gotta simply access like your notes from the school library or something like that. And having quick access to all of your notes online from a browser that you can get in your school library is really convenient and is a reason that I really like Microsoft OneNote. Finally, with OneNote, you can obviously easily share your notes with other people and it is available for almost all platforms, which is something that you cannot say about GoodNotes. Sadly, when it comes to using GoodNotes, the app is limited to iOS only. And while that may be a good thing for, you know, having that really easy and seamless sync between all your iOS devices, you know, if you need to pull up something in school and all they have are window computers, then that's gonna be a pretty big issue, especially if you need that for your class urgently. So having all of your notes kind of like locked and binded to this one ecosystem can sometimes be a challenge, especially when in school. Now with GoodNotes, you can, you know, print your notes, make it a PDF and even save it as a GoodNotes file. But really other than that, it is quite hard to access your GoodNotes from anywhere else. So when it comes to sharing your notes, whether that be on a public school computer or your own personal devices, OneNote just takes it here because of how easy it is to access your notes online. Now, if you want some more information and details regarding these note-taking apps, I definitely recommend that you check out my GoodNotes videos and my OneNote videos just for more detail about the two apps. And finally, if you're the type of student that likes typing up their notes and you want access from literally anywhere, then OneNote is definitely the better note-taking app for you. However, if your goal is to take some handwritten notes, then GoodNotes is definitely the way to go, just because of how better their optimization is, the freedom and customization, and of course, the better writing experience. And finally, it is worth mentioning that at the time of this video, GoodNotes actually does cost $7.99, which is, in my opinion, completely worth it. Just as the free Microsoft OneNote could also be worth it, depending on how, again, you are going to use it. Regardless of how 
how you're going to use these apps, both of them can definitely provide you a lot of value. And just like GoodNotes and OneNote can provide you a lot of value, if this video has provided you any value, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. I'm Matt, and thanks for watching. Thank you.